Welcome to another video from the farm. Today, we're finally gonna get a roof on the roundhouse. So I've got a ready amount of these uh, six by two, six meter long timbers. That we've been using for stuff with the chickens, but well, they've always been intended to be coming out of that field. So I've got a few out already. We can start using these for the beams. Basically gonna be notching a little end on so it sits flush on the top of the centre post. And then we're gonna run it over notch a little piece out so it sits flush on the end wall screw it down at the top use some sort of bracket at the bottom to lock it in and then we should be good to go one beam in and then it'll be a process of rinse repeat all the way around and i think we're going to end up with about 10 or 15 of these depending on how many we can actually fit on the top there before we start having to do some fancy carpentry to get them on first thing we need to do though is mark up a few more of these, cut some notches out like so. So if you're unfamiliar with an easy way to get your little angle and whatnot notched up, I'll quickly show you now how I've done it, and it works pretty well on the fly. Oh. Right then, so for illustration purposes, imagine this is the top edge of your wall, and it's at a little bit of an angle. So what we do, so you take a square edge, fit it up against the, the wall, top of the wall like that, and then we can draw a straight line, like so, to mark where we need to put the angle on. Now ideally you do this next bit with a set square, but if you don't have one, just find something that's hard hard plastic ideally with a square edge like I've done then you measure down the one side how far you want your actual piece of wood to drop down onto the wall in this case I've got two inches there so then I put a little mark next put the little mark on the edge of the wood and then I can work out the top of where I want my 90 degree corner to be so we've got here we've got that straight line there right then you take your square corner put it on like so and then draw your straight line to the edge of the wood and then you'll end up with something like that which is then dead easy to chop that out and that'll sit flush on the top of your wall now i already cut this one out as you can see notch at the top notch here to sit on the outside edge so we'll put this one up there just so i can show you that it works and yeah it's that easy got the bottom one sitting on flush got the top one sitting on flush i think i've explained that okay we'll see when i come to edit this video though right let's crack on marking up some more beams Get more cut out. So as I don't have a ladder that's actually tall enough to get up there to attach these to the centre post, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get four of these on, pushing against the centre post from all opposing sides, and then I'm going to lock this far edge here with one of these into the top beam to hopefully provide enough stability on this centre post that I can lean our longer ladder up against it and get right up there. So let's have a go at that. So I had a quick reset this morning. Had to take the pole down, didn't we? So we could get this sheet of plastic underneath, which I forgot to put in. So that way, when we cover the whole inside floor in plastic, we've got plastic all the way around this as well. Stop any moisture wicking through the floor into the concrete slash into the wood. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, a bit sketchy. Screwing these in. Now I've got them tied in. I can actually stand up a bit better show you see we've got them big decking screws same as we've used for the window and doors lock these into the middle now i'm pushing and pulling that as hard as i can and we've got zero movement so it's worked right let's crack on cutting the rest of these 
last 12 we'll get them all in position so i quickly just lifted a few more of these in position so i can start marking them up with my trusty plastic edge like so i'll go do the bottom started just screwing these down the same as I've done the first four as I've been going save moving the ladder around it's really awkward to film though and get a good angle but I'll put in a shot of me doing it see how we get on fixed in. I'm going to add one more beam I think in between each of these so then we've got sort of less than a meter span between each one. So I just had to cut this little triangle and notch in the end of this one for this top lip to be able to sit in the middle properly because we're getting a bit tight on the actual width between each beam in the centre now. Right then, main structure's in. Not too shabby. Right then, let's get all these metal straps screwed in. We'll start chopping down the end beams to the right length and start getting some noggins in. We're on to cutting all of the uh, overhang to the same length. Now what I'm doing, using this two foot level as a marker, putting it underneath, like so, drawing a the line, then using the uh, same spirit level to get a straight line up and I'll cut them all off the same so she's coming along thick and fast but I think I've just lost all the footage of me cutting all the ends back doing this first noggin every time I do a long time lapse my sim card inside the GoPro seems to mess up here so uh, yeah if someone wants to send me a new sim card crack on but otherwise we've lost a bit of footage I believe First row of noggins all on. Kind of done the front, so it's got a bit of a sort of triangle kink up towards the middle. So then we've got actual decent full height of the door, so we can get in and out properly. Right, with the outside noggins done, gonna do a ring fairly close to the centre of them, and then I think we'll do one more in the middle, maybe two more. We shall see how it looks when we get a board on afterwards. Well, let's crack on with doing this middle then. Alright, 
We've got all the wood frame structure done now. So, let's get some boards on the roof. Right, so I've got a bit of a good news, bad news scenario. I just checked the footage last night. Yeah, didn't record the time lapse again, did it, of me putting these boards on? So, uh, yeah, we'll have to start again today with the rest of the boards for here. But we've got a Brucey bonus of being able to finish the rest of this roof for free. And here we have why. A load of free ply boards. So one of our carpenter friends who does a lot of commercial jobs was just told, get rid of those for a whole pallet of these. So, yeah, just gave us the 11 we needed. Nice of him, wasn't it? So now we're back on for a super cheap build with the only thing we've had to buy in so far being the stone and some of the sand for uh, doing the mortaring of the bags. So we've got a brilliant sunny day to be finishing this off. So firstly going to get the rest of these boards on then. Fingers crossed the recording works this time. Roof on. Woo. So yeah, doesn't it look pretty decent? Right then. All nicely trimmed off around the edge. Just gotta put a few little triangle wedges in to finish off the tiny little gaps in the ends of the boards. And then we can get on with finishing the final bit of the structure of the roof. The edge plate I'm gonna put on to stop my soil and the water running off so I can gather all the water to run off in one particular spot and make sort of the edge of the roof my gutter at the same time. Right, let's crack on with that. Alright, got the roof done. I'm going to put my extra six inches on to stop my green roof sloughing off. And then I've left a good gap here so I can create an outflow through that gap there with the plastic sheeting that I'm putting on. So we've got a drain on this one side only. And as I mentioned, then the whole ring around the outside becomes the gutter as well. So I should just have water coming out of here, in theory. I guess I'll do a little demo of how the gutter's gonna work in the, uh, the next video when I actually put the covers on, put the green roof in. All right then, I think we'll wrap this video up here. Hope you've enjoyed seeing all this roof come together. I've certainly enjoyed building it. I guess uh, let me know in the comments below if you think I could have done anything different, make it better. If you are uh, not happy with some of my joinery carpentry skills, let me know too. I know I've done some of them a bit ropey, but it's all nice and strong. Right then, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like below. Until next time, bye-bye.